Tacoma police now have their eyes on commercial places and surrounding areas they say are magnets for violent crime throughout the city. We are taking a closer look at the new crime reduction plan to help make Tacoma a safer city. Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Thompson joins us after speaking with one family hoping the new plan will help get them justice. The goal of the crime reduction plan is to get criminals off the streets and prevent the violence that has already claimed the lives of 25 people this year, including Estienne Major. The plan works to identify crime prone places, arrest offenders, and get to the root of the underlying conditions causing the crime. Tacoma Police Chief Avery Moore and a team of criminologists have identified violent addresses throughout the city where officers are now conducting hotspot patrols. It is really to detour behavior, change behavior, and arrest just those that need to be arrested. Though the department says it can't reveal where those violent addresses are, the family of Estina Major say they've noticed an increased police presence in their neighborhood on South Hosmer Street the same street where Estina was shot and killed in a parking lot back in April. Finding her killer and having whoever it was arrested and us getting justice is not going to bring her back, like you said, but it is going to give us some type of peace knowing that the person that murdered our sister is no longer on the streets. My niece and nephew don't have to worry about wondering, oh, who was it that killed my mom? Criminologists working with the police department found 12% of violent crimes like murder, robbery, and aggravated assault occur at commercial establishments. This includes shopping centers, malls, convenience stores, and multifamily dwellings. Several of these places are on South Hosmer Street, which has a known reputation for trouble. Every city has places that if you, know, if you talk to community members or you talk to the cops, um, they can all tell you, yeah, it's, you know, this is the spot, or this is the neighborhood, or this is the street corner, this is the business, that sometimes these have been problematic for, for years at a time. It's unrealistic to think that 90 day treatment is going to fix that problem. Estina's family says they worry her case hasn't received the attention it deserves because of the location. It's just more and more, you know, stress that's getting put on me and my sister and we're literally the only ones left. Now that hotspot patrols are happening throughout the city, it could help investigators track down who killed the mother of two. We want people to come forward and, and we want to hear our sister's name. We don't want her case to go cold. But in order for the crime reduction plan to be effective, Mayor Victoria Woodard says the community is going to have to speak up. If you're not reporting, that makes it difficult for us to have the right data. But if we don't know that crime is happening, if you don't if, if, if you don't want to call 911, at least get down, call the non-emergency number, fill out a report to make sure that we have all of this data because this is not data that we can collect on our own. Criminologists say they have identified 24 violent addresses in the city. Hotspot patrols and results of those patrols will be re-evaluated every 90 days. Chief Moore says officers have already started these efforts last week. Reporting in Tacoma, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.